Um, so I just wanted to say hello and welcome to everyone. I'm really excited um, about this panel, Just Shoot It. And I, am, and I really am appreciative that Film Independent um, and under Maria Bosi's tutelage does these types of panels because this is where we can see how it really gets done. Well, for me, I always like I created a lookbook and I shot a, a new short film. And another thing that helped me in the process is that they started to alleviate some of that doubt in me when I went through the casting process and I was picking the right actors. And so then people, before you start shooting, like, oh wow, well maybe he knows what he's talking about. You need to bring people on board that are right for the project, right for what you wanna do. Um, and sometimes it's not always the person with the highest credential. It could be someone else and you could be giving someone a shot or, or not. I mean, you have to, it, it has to be the right um, connection. Um, and all the times, I mean, we're, as filmmakers, as you know, we often get a lot of times, no, you can't do that, or nobody wants to see that. I'd love for you all to talk a little bit about in the development phase of setting it up, where, I mean, were people just clamoring to give you money because they wanted to see your movies? <laughs> or was it a little bit of a struggle? <laughs> We had something like all these folks, we get to have something to show, something to say, something to make them believe, you know, Charles Dutton in $200,000. Mm -hmm. We got this, we got grants. I mean, it's, it's very much not happening just based on your great script. You know, you've got to have, uh, more often than not, something else behind so it. It's, it's just hard, though, because when you're out there looking for money every single day and someone comes up and offers you money, your instinct is to take it, you know, and to think that you are smart and strong enough to like deal with whatever bullshit might come down the road, right? But it's, it's just not always the case. So one lesson that I, I learned and now I'm relearning also is just how to walk away from the wrong money. Make sure you have a, a great legal team behind you, a great group of production yeah. attorneys um, making these independent films. You know, like Karen was just saying, you end up dealing with lots of different types of people and putting financing together for these movies. And um, just make sure that you have great you have great lawyers that you're working with that are going to be there 100 percent because you're ramping into something and you want to make sure that you have everything signed before you start um, to protect you and the production itself. When you really embrace that, it's when and not if. That's the moment that you're making your film. So it's like, you know, there's so many things you can do mm -hmm. that that's actually money. So right, when you don't have to pay a location, that's like raising money. Exactly. When you don't have to pay a casting director, that's raising money. Every element that you can bring where you didn't have to pay someone or you got people to donate their time, that's money. So it's just that that's there are other ways to do what we all want to do, which is tell our story and share them. And we shouldn't feel like, you know, going one route is less than another. If your true intention is to connect with an audience, then you can do that and there's no reason why you can't.